Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I'm giving you my first impressions and doing a tutorial on this look with the brand new Riviera palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. You guys know I never miss an Anastasia palette review, so if you guys enjoy them, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a review from me. But if you guys want to hear my thoughts on this palette and you want to see how I got this summery, colorful look, then just keep on watching. So this is the beautiful new Riviera palette from Anastasia. It retails for $45 and it is another 14 pan eyeshadow palette. It has really beautiful packaging. It has this striped navy and white kind of maritime themed packaging which I really love for the spring and summer. I'm really really into it. This palette has six shimmer shades or metallic shades and the rest of them are matte so it has mostly matte but only by one and I actually really really love all of the textures. I love the blendability and the colors in this palette just putting it out there I'm obsessed. So I did play around with this palette on my eyes and I can't wait to show you how I got this look today but first I want to give you arm swatches of all of the beautiful shades and then we can get into the tutorial. So as you can see by the swatches, the colors in here are absolutely stunning. The brown shade Palm is the darkest shade in the palette, and the white shade Sails is the lightest. All of the shades in here were very consistent with the swatching, and it actually only took me two swipes per swatch to get really full pigment. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the tutorial, exactly what I did on my eyes today, and then I will give you my final thoughts. So for my first look with this palette, I want to go really colorful, really different for me. So let's get into it. I really like the brush that comes with these palettes but I'm gonna set it to the side just in case I need to use it. So I'm gonna start with the color I want to peer out of my crease. So dipping into a Monte Carlo. I'm picking this up with a white haired blender that's a little bit more dense. This is the Morphe R39. I'm gonna place this right above my natural crease. I'm just going to continue to blend this until I have it where I want it. This is just going to peer out from the other colors that I want to use. This shade has a little bit of fallout, but nothing excessive. So I think the shade Monte Carlo kind of goes onto the lid a bit darker than it looks in the pan. And it's just a pretty salmon color. So I couldn't reach into this palette without using hot pink. So I'm going to go into the shade Bahamas. And I'm picking it up with the same exact brush. This color really doesn't have significant fallout at all. I'm going to put this slightly below the last shade. And really the key to any good look is just blending. So I'm doing a lot of blending. And while I love that, I love the pink, I do want this look to be purple, so I'm going to set this brush aside for future blending and we're going to pick up some purple. This purple shade right here. This is kind of going to be a halo eye-ish, um, so I'm going to start in the outer crease. And we're going to go into the inner corner. I don't want to go too far in. But I do want to make sure that the purple is going to stand out. I'm just lightly blending back and forth. And I'm going to connect the crease. Just avoiding that little spotlight area. Now I'm going to go into my concealer and my cream color brush from Sigma. And I'm going to cut my crease. I'm going into this metallic shade called Seaside. So picking up Seaside with the same cream color brush, I'm going to apply this to the outer and inner portion of the cut crease area. It's a little bit on the outside, a little bit on the inside. This is very metallic on its own, so the brush doesn't need to be wet. Mine is a little tiny bit wet from my baby wipe, but it really doesn't need it. The metallics do have a little bit of fallout, so you have to be careful with that. So now taking the brush with the purple on it, I'm just going to blend the seams on the outer portion of this metallic color. I just want to make sure that it's blended. I'm going into this turquoise, 
and this is the shade that I'm gonna have in the center of my lid so popping this right in the middle again you can wet the brush for this but it kind of doesn't need it I want to make sure that I'm covering all of that concealer Once that lid shade is on, I will go in with that seaside shade again. I just want to make sure that this is giving a nice glow because it is a little bit brighter than that turquoise shade. Then jumping back to the very first brush we used, I'm going to go back into the brightest pink Bahamas and make sure that that is showing on the outer edge of the entire look. I'm also going to place Bahamas underneath my lower lash line. Next up, I'm taking a tiny blending brush from Sigma, and I'm going to take that purple shade, and right along my lashes, I'm going to apply that so that it doesn't go too low. I just looked for a turquoise in my eyeliners, and I found this really, really bright neon one, so I'm going to put this LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner in the shade Fresh onto my lower lash line, not my lash line, inner rim, lower waterline, waterline. That completes the eyeshadow look, so I'm going to pop on some lashes and mascara and that will be it. All right, you guys, so that is it for my review of the Riviera palette. I definitely wanna do more looks. I want to do sunset looks with the yellowy gold shade in here. I have so many ideas and so much inspiration looking at other looks that people have done with this palette, so there's a lot I want to do, so please give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more on it. Overall, I definitely feel like this palette is worth the money. I feel like you can get these colors elsewhere, but I feel like Anastasia's formula, for me at least, is one of the best on the market, so I love working with it, so I love having this in my collection. I could probably get very similar looks with the Morphe James Charles or Jaclyn Hill palette, but I absolutely do not regret getting this palette. I feel like it's going to be worth it. All spring and summer long, it's going to be worth it to me, so I am very, very happy with this palette. So if you guys picked it up, please let me know what you think down below and tag me in your looks. I would love to get inspired by you guys and maybe recreate a look from one of my subscribers. But that is it for this review. If you guys enjoy my Anastasia reviews, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss another one. And please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you liked the look I created today. But thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging out with me. And hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye.